Hallelujah. Let's take our seats. We thank the Lord for this morning that he has given to us, that he may speak to us and he may walk with us at such a time. This is the problem of being... You want to exchange? All right. They're trying to take care of me. Thank you very much. I think we played for that team on Sunday, and I can see they are doing a very, very good job. Let's clap for them. Buena Sifiwe, praise the Lord. Just wave at me, praise the Lord. We want to thank the Lord um, this wonderful, wonderful time that he has given to us. I'm not sure whether it's morning or afternoon. I have lost track. Is it morning? Looks like it's still morning. Um, we are very grateful uh, to the leadership of this church led by Venerable David for welcoming us to be with you and to bring the word of God today. For those who are not with us on Sunday, my name is Leverett Elias uh, Moiki Amboro. I'm born again by the grace of God. And I'm happy to be here today. You know, when uh, you are invited, it becomes very humbling. And um, I don't know about your expectation, but I want to tell you to expect, you to expect from the Lord. You know, um, um, I may not be able to preach with uh, a lot of vigor like when Abu David does. You know, I'm just his student. And... Um, I may speak with a small voice, and you are used to the big, loud voice from Venerable David, but I will still tell you about the love of Jesus. The comfort today is that I will still tell you what the Lord wants and expects from us. The will of God will be preached. So um, I'm grateful, and as my wife has said, we are here, the whole family. The, next, the rest of the society have gone to be with the Sunday school. Uh, you saw them on Sunday. And um, we also came with one of our nieces. Her name is Felista, if you can wave. She was with us on Sunday. And I'm also delighted. Um, I invited two of my good, great friends, and they are... Um, some of my online members at Christ the King Anglican Church, so uh, in Seattle, but they still live here, and we are grateful. And uh, they also have relatives in that church. So when they, we talked with them and I told them I would be here, they decided to come. So I have my friend Dolly's, if you can wave. <laughs> Dolly's comes all the way from Meru, so. Um, I'm really happy, but she lives in somewhere in Loiro, I think. And I have my youth friend. Uh, we were in the same youth group with her, and her name is Monica, if you can wave. So she doesn't live very far, so um, if you want a new member, I can recommend. Uh, she can be able to come here. Even Doris can be able to come here. So I'm trying to get you some members because I'm also a member of the church. <laughs> well, I swear you're welcome so much and I am humbled for accepting my invitation. I also have greetings from Christ the King Anglican Church in Seattle. They sent me with their greetings and I have um, seen a number of them online. So they are trying to follow up and see what we are doing on this other end. And... Um, one person have said the message saying, oh, Lord, it's a blast. When you're coming back, come with that praise and worship team. So, 
So I might also give you some members and start poaching, mostly from praise and worship, so that we can have a great worship team as you do. So it's very humbling to be here. And um, I want us to reflect on uh, the same theme that uh, our brother, Venerable David, um, exposed very well on Sunday. It was one of my greatest moments to reason to that word. It was coming alive. And I have the whole week, spent the whole week, you know, you know, um, reflecting on the word. And it was really new, as if I have never heard it again. So I was asking myself when we, we agreed that we're going to still continue with the theme so that it may stick into our minds. Nikajiuliza sasa mungu, unataka niende niseme nini, na yote niseme wanavena abu David. But you know, the word of God is new every morning. And the Lord will speak to us in that great way that he wants us to hear and understand. And it is also, I think, uh, a great thing to have the theme stick in you throughout the year. Because it's, it's the beginning of the year, and we want this theme to go with us every moment of our lives. Every, when, you know, in every aspect of our lives, when something happens, you remember about the theme. When something happens in your life, you also remember and know that God spoke in the beginning of the year about these situations. So I'll bring the word of God and um, you'll bear with me. I am not very much gifted in Swahili, like Venerable David, but nitajaribu kuchaganya kidogo, 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 kama hiyo kidogo, kidogo. Simesikia naweza. And um, the Lord will bless us. So um, the word that we are reflecting from today is, um, is not new to us. And um, we have had it since Sunday school. You know, there is a song that we were singing in vernacular in Sunday school. We were saying, Nigamutua ategi ado, ategi ado, ategi ado. Yeah, so we started hearing about the word all the way in Sunday school. And when Venerable David was talking about launching into the deep, you know, Going a step further, I was feeling he is speaking, you know, to me that I need also to evaluate my life and see how I need to go a step further to come from the shores and go into the deep. And um, um, I, I was telling him when we were seated there that uh, I tried to pray and fast this week and I was asking how will... Uh, when will supper come? Because I cannot tolerate this. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and you know, and you know, my brother is very faithful. He's gone for seven days. You know, and I was telling myself, oh God, can you give me some grace to go a step further, at least a day or two? You know? <laughs> so <laughs> you need to tell yourself, where am I? Which part of the show am I in? You know, he is already into the deep on that end. But he may, might be on the show on something else. So you need to ask yourself, what, what, what do I need to do so that I can go a step further? When it comes to prayer, do I need to pray? And how do I need to pray? I was uh, with another group uh, this week that said um, on Tuesday, they'll be having a dry praying and fasting, and I'm a member. So I'm really praying for that day because I don't know what will gonna happen. You know, so it's good to realize what you are weak at, and it's time to go a step further. So one day, as we had, Jesus was right at the shore of Lake Gennesaret, and the people were crowding around him and reasoning to the word of God. He saw the water's edge, at the water's edge, he saw two boats, he belong, and, you know, left by the fishermen. Where were they? That was the first question I was asking. They had left the boats because they were very, very frustrated throughout the night. And uh, they had gone to clean up their nets. Because what the nets had catched just needed to be cleaned up. There was dirt, a lot of leaves, and there was no fish. Are we together? 
There was no fish, there was nothing, but the nets were dirty. So they decided because the whole night we were trying to catch. Hatukupata ata nini wala nini. Ata kaumena na kwambia. Hatukupata. So they decided to go and leave the boats and go back to the water and clean the net. They were not cleaning when they were so happy. And you know someone who is sad and angry can say anything. Hello. Because they are frustrated. One of the things that make the church not glow is when we come to church with a lot of frustration. There are people who have been frustrated by the year 2020. And they don't know what to do. They, know where, they don't know where to start. At that very moment, the Lord shows up. Buenas pesana. The Lord will show up at your very moment of frustration and he will change your song. Buenas pesana. You have been frustrated for a long time because of that family that you have come from. It's time to commit them to the hearts of God. Now, mwambia mungu, ya kwamba, I have been frustrated for a long time. Lakini he inafika mwisho leo. Because God, you are showing up. What a space sign. These guys, one of the things that I was learning about uh, is that uh, they might not have spoken as the Bible have said, talking to Jesus. You know, when Jesus went there, he, you know, they, they were there, they were washing their nets, and he went inside one of the boats. And in that boat, belonged to Simon Peter. He stood there and, you know, he was, you know, he could not tell. He, he started speaking to the multitude that had followed him. But these fishermen were not even concerned about the person who had gone to their boats. They continued doing whatever they were doing. You might not be concerned, but I want to tell you, the person who is coming to your life is a different person than ever before. He's coming to change, not only change your thinking, but even change your lifestyle. When they went, when Jesus went to the boat, you know, they continued washing their, 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 their nets. And I want you to get this revelation real good. And then when he finished, he discovered these guys are not coming. And then he turned to them and talked to them. He told them, put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. When they have finished cleaning their nets, that's when they are being told, take those nets back to the deep waters. Hello? And what comes to their mind? These nets are clean. They have been there, and what came out of that place is that. Hello. When you clean, cleanse yourself, that is when the Lord will start using you. When I say, Sana, you have been through so many dirty things in life, and now you want the Lord to speak to, to talk to you. You want the Lord to use you. It is time to cleanse yourself. When you cleanse yourself, you know, you know, when you cleanse yourself, the Lord will start using you. He's, he used the same, same nets. Hello there. Oh, Lord. The same, same nets. They took them in. Before they took them in, they had an attitude. You know, and many times, I hear people saying, you know, that man is a great preacher. You know, Venerable David preaches to us so much. But I have been listening to the word of God since I was young. So nothing new. Those are some of the attitudes we have when we come to church. Others come to church because it's a Sunday. Not that they are willing to come. Others come to church because they have been told. Others come to church because they want to meet with their friends. But, you know, these people also had an attitude. And it was not a good attitude. It was a bad attitude. But they obeyed. They said, Master, 
you're telling us to go back to that lake. That's where we've been all night. And I'm not sure we're going to get anything because what came out of it is what we were cleaning down there. It was some dirt, some leaves, and it seems like fish have migrated from this area to another area. So, Master, I don't know what you're talking about, but because you have said, listen to that, because you have said, I will do it. It doesn't matter the time I've taken to clean these nets. But because, Master, you have said, I will, I will go and do it. And they went. They took the same, same boat that the Master was in. Listen to this. This boat, the Master used the same boat to teach the multitude. And after teaching the multitude, they used the same boats. I'm speaking about some anointing here. You may have used the same route. You may have been in the same business for a long time. But you have never invited the places of God in your business. You might have, you know, been in the same family, regretting and crying all through. But you have never, never invited the, the, the Savior, Jesus, to our lives. You might be thinking that now you don't know what else to do. But in your thoughts, you have never invited the Savior. So they used the same boat that were, you know, were being used by Jesus. And the Bible says, when they went in, when they went in, there was a great catch. But listen to their attitude. Master, we have worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you said so, I will let down the nets. When they had so, listen to this, a large number of fish that their nets began to break. They caught a large number of fish that their nets began to break. I want to bring something new to you. When you obey the master, you not only get a hundredfold, you get a fold that is more than enough to sustain you and to take you to the next level. When you just obey the master, you know, you have cleaned the nets. You know that they might go and get dirty, but you want to obey the master because he has spoken. I want to speak to someone. The master has spoken that this year will be a year of your blessing. The master has spoken that this year will not like last year. The master has spoken that you are going to serve God more than ever before. This is the time. This is the time to stand and be counted. This is the time to worship God. This is the time to praise. You know, you've been praising, Mama, Mama Wairimu. You've been praising, and I really love your worship. But this is time to go deeper, Buenas Fuesana. You can do it because you are obeying the voice of the master. And you know what they will say? They will say you cannot make it. But I will tell you, obey the voice of the master. Hallelujah. The sacrifice that the Lord is calling us to give is one obedience if we will obey to the voice of God you know I was feeling so excited on Sunday when uh, when Abu David was saying uh, for those who cannot be able to go a full drive fasting they can skip a meal and I could tick myself I, I think I can skip one for those who can some can skip two or can go for a meal a day I could say oh, I think my wife can do one but me I need two you know because you are obeying the voice of the master. And for those who did not obey the voice of the master and maybe employed some attitude, I want to speak to you now that the master is still calling. The master is still speaking. You know, if you have not started obeying the voice of the master, I call upon you. I want to talk about you know, sometimes we get conditional miracles that a certain condition 
must be met for you to get to your next level. And one of the conditions here is launching to the deep. You must leave your comfort zone and go to the next level. You know, at the deep waters, when we left here, I got, you know, we were out here uh, with my friend David, Liz, uh, Venable David and his wife. And I learned a new vocabulary. That launching to the deep in the modern world is called a brew ocean strategy. And I told myself, I need to write that down somewhere. And when I go back to Seattle, I'll tell them, this is the year of brew ocean strategy. And you, and you know, they'll start saying, oh my God, tell us more about it. <laughs> you know, at the brew, you know, at the, where the water is so deep, it turns brew. Buenas as first Hannah. Where the water is so deep, it's quiet. Buenas as Just turn to your neighbor, Mwambi. I'm in the brew ocean. <laughs> you know, you can change. You are changing. You are changing your life now. And you're not only going to where you have been. The way you have been, it's a comfort zone. You know, we went with, with my wife and the children and we were taken by a boat inside the sea at, at the deep, they call it deep head. And I saw our children. I even saw the eyes of my wife. They could not talk no more because something has changed. Hello. When you're in the blue ocean, you know, in the deep head, you don't talk a lot. <laughs> Hello! What has the sun? So there are things that will be minimized in your life because of where you are. I don't need to talk about other people because where I am, I may not be able to open a mouth on that end. I may not be able to tell you what was happening at night. No, you want to know about so and so. I don't think I have that time where I am is so deep to talk about it. When I say Sana, I don't think I need to imagine and think about the wickedness of men where I am is so deep, so, so deep to talk about it. The place I am is a place of blessing and just listening to one sweet voice. You know, when you are in deep head, there are no voices. There are no trees to listen to the voices of birds. And the deep head is a place that is quiet. And the only voice you can hear is the voice of the wind. And you know, the voice of the wind is the voice of God. <laughs> this is the time that you can be able to meditate and tell God now that you have taken me here. A time to reflect not about others but about my life and my relationship with you I want to do it and I want to speak to someone after you reflect and obey the voice of the master at the deep end the catch will be great what has first time just turn to your neighbor and tell them he has just started preaching so we have one more hour to go. One as for Sana. So I want you to see, um, you know, have a reflection of, of just a simple, simple explanation of the word of God that the Lord is calling us, you know, so that we can understand that the word of God was there in the beginning. So God was still speaking. And he's speaking even now. He is not only speaking, he is doing miracles. He is not only doing miracles, he is meeting with his people, those who obey. So, today, I want you to ask yourself, which are the promises? You wrote your, your, uh, your prayer items for this year, and where you want to be for the next 10 years. Are you ready to obey? Are you ready to be consistent? Because consistency is a virtue. You need to follow up with what you told God. 
and also to listen to that voice. You know, John, um, in John chapter, in, in John chapter 1, says, without him, John chapter 1 and verse 1 says, um, the beginning of the word of God, blah, 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 but verse B says, without him, nothing has been made that has been made. I want you to underline that verse. That everything that we can ask was made of him. If we go to the deeper and run the word of God more than we have done last year and the previous years, everything, and I mean everything, was created for us. I tell people, and Mimi, that would be my encouragement because I can see my brother Ben of David. I told you he is ahead of me in many, many things. But I've, I've cherished his, his preaching and I really follow because I say, if Lord, you have blessed your servants like David or Yedepo, then when Abu David is heading there. Yes. Because, yes, yes, because they just have, you know, um, uh, asked from the Lord and told God what they want. And the Lord have blessed them. The same God that I pray, the same God that he prays, the same God that Oyedepo and whoever else pray is the same God we are worshipping. What we need to do is have some consistency and go to the deep. You know, focus on God. Focus on God. Hello. I forgot that in the Anglican church we use a pulpit and we don't go so much. But I found myself drinking in the same spirit with Venerable David. And now I am able to go a little bit. I don't speak a very loud voice. So whatever has happened, don't ask me. But I want to communicate to someone that what you have seen others do, you are capable and equally able to do it when we listen to the voice of the master. When you obey the voice of the master, you are going to the next level. When you obey the voice of the master, you will not be derailed. There are so many things that have derailed us. One of the things that have derailed us is disobedience. We might be having a lot of faith in many things, but there are so many people who come to church who do not obey the voice of God. And sometimes, when Adalao Sauti Yamungu, Did you come and your Gresha and Amungu? When we were seated there, we led together with Venerable David a verse in Isaiah 17 that says, I will show you a sign. There are signs that come our way to show us that we are getting blessed. And then we disobey the signs. Sometimes you hear people talking about something. You know, one from this end, another one from this end, another one from this end, but they are speaking the same thing. Have it, has it ever happened to you? Unaona mungu wamekuonge, mtu wamekuongeresha dadayangu. Anakuambia, I dreamt. Mungina anakuambia, I thought. Mungina anakuambia, I saw. But they are telling you the same thing. Sometimes it's good to test the Lord and see what he can do. You have seen the signs in your life of the greater blessings the Lord is bringing to you. And sometimes you ask, when will this God come? Because I have waited on him for so long. It is not yet. The night is not yet over. The night is not yet over. In the morning, when you are seriously frustrated, and you don't know what to do there comes your morning your morning is coming and when it comes no one will reverse it you know when morning comes wakati jua imewaka hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kurudisha giza na ninatabili haya leo katika maisha yako 
ile giza ambayo imekuandama muda mrefu asubuhi imefika na ikifika hakuna mtu ambaye atarudisha giza katika maisha yako ni wakati wa kusimama na kutii neno la Mungu na kumwambia Mungu I claim it in Jesus name you know the night was very frustrating I did not get nothing it is it because I was on the show oh Lord I want to obey your word ninataka kutii neno lako that I want to go to the next level the next level ni kutii neno la Mungu na kuchukua malikabu because it is a promise na uende kwenye Mungu anakuonyesha turn to your neighbor muulize Mungu anakuonyesha uende wapi just turn to your neighbor talk to someone is the lord speaking to you the lord is speaking you to go somewhere that somewhere the lord is speaking is the deep end when he want to meet with you let us stand for a word of prayer things happen in life and in this life we have been called a time and again we have disobeyed the word of god but the lord is calling us today because he has greater intentions in our lives and the intentions is to take us to the next level you have been to the same level over and over again but the lord is speaking if you obey the voice of the master we are going to go to the next level my brothers and my sisters it is a time to reorganize yourself it is a time to reorganize your life it is a time to include god in your life you have been frustrated for a long time but i want to speak to you to, today that the lord is taking you to the next level in jesus mighty name it, i want you to raise up your hands and ask the lord to take you to the next level and ask the lord to bring your frustrations to a net in jesus mighty name and ask the lord to show you the direction you know your direction is not my direction my direction is not your direction but the lord is giving the same god you are god is my god and is giving us directions in life may it be in serving him may it be in our offering may it be in our giving may it be in our you know commitment to our work may it be to the commitment to the work of god may it be the commitment to our families may it be to commitment to our businesses the lord is taking us to the next level our god and our savior in jesus name we worship you and we give you all the glory and praise yes lord we honor you father because you are our god yes we have been frustrated for a long time yes lord but i want to declare yes. that our frustration is coming to an end jesus we name. may have been to the dark for a long time yes but we want to declare that our morning has come yes we worship you we give you glory yes. we wait upon you father mm. i know you're blessing your people yes. in jesus mighty name oh, yes. oh lord God, see this your servants oh lord mm. they have raised an altar for you oh, yes. they have raised their prayer items for you yes, but Jesus. i want to thank you to have a god oh, yes. that you have given them an opportunity yes. and a chance oh god mm. to venture into the deep oh, yes. as they venture in their prayer items oh lord mm. i pray that you have a king of all glory yes, they not only get a catch but a great catch yes lord. in jesus name amen bless them oh lord oh yes walk with them to have a king oh yes may this year be a year of turn around mm. in jesus mighty name may this year be a year of a great catch in jesus name we bless them we bless this church in jesus. and we give you all the glory oh yes we declare that you're a king of all glory you'll be increasing them by day yes in jesus name this is the time to venture into the deep yes. and in the deep end oh lord mm. you gonna speak you gonna do a miracle in jesus name yes we bless you we give you praise in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. let's appreciate the lord we bless the lord this morning we bless the lord let's appreciate him <laughs>